Hello everyone, and welcome back to Stasis, uh, the game where we're trying to find our family. We're abandoned on board the Groom Lake, and we're in the last episode we came across these weird creatures that have been operated on in some weird Holocaust-type Holocaust way. Now, if you remember, uh, we need to find some way of getting past. There's like a little roving turret robot thing here. Which will kill me if I get anywhere near it. So I need to find some way of getting past it. Now he only goes up to this place. So I need to look at what I can do. I think what I'm going to do is... What have we got in here? Maybe we can electrocute it somehow. We've got a sink here. Let's try and turn the sink on. Okay, we can do that. What do we have in our inventory? Empty pistol. Bandage. Maybe we could use the bandage. Wet the bandage. Or block the sink with the bandage. And then the floor will get wet. And then when he comes, maybe we can electrocute. See, yeah, we got some spilled water. Cool. And we got the portable defibrillator we picked up before. And we can use this. To electrocute the beast. Throw it. There we go. Yes. Worked. Cool. Okay. So. We don't want to walk on there yet. Because we'll get electrocuted. So what have we got here? Deactivated sentry robot. Let's click on him. What's that there? Shining. Spilled water. Okay. Easy. Just eat it. Alright. What have we picked up there? Yeah, hey, John Marrakesh has fallen over. Come on, son. Get up so I can check my inventory. What do we have? We've got something off that robot. Let's have a look. Twisted metal. Uh-huh. wonder what we use that for, then. Well, at least now we can go further down here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there's a platform we can click on here. That takes us up here. What do we have in here? Queen's milk. No, I think we're missing something. The atmosphere generator system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. Uh oh. Oxygen in the atmosphere is depleting. Yeah. Okay. Now, after reviewing my previous video, I kind of know what I need to do. Over here is some liquid nitrogen. So we've now picked that up. Good. And what we're going to do is create a bomb. Ha <laughs> ha. We have become death. And we're going to create a bomb and blow our way through this airlock up here on the top left. Okay, here we go. How can we do that, though? I know we've got that slug gun that we found. Power pad, a technology that provides an energy boost for heavy duty equipment. See that? Maybe we can use that for the high temperature slug gun. Alright, let's have a look here. Liquid nitrogen canister. I've got I've improved so much at these games since I started playing this. I had no clue what I was doing when I first started, but now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Alright, so the liquid nitrogen canister is there. So I'm gonna stand on the power pad and use my high temperature slug gun. Oh no, 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 go back. Alright, let's shoot our way through this door. Yeah! Good job, John Marrakesh. Oh, there's still a wall in there. Ah, okay, he shoots it again. Good. The shapeless maw of the unlit void. Do we dare go through there, guys? Do we dare? We dare. Let's do it. Ooh, oh, look at these alien creatures. There's one wriggling over there. Healthy organism. Oh man, that is cruel. Alright, let's start over here on the right then. Strap down hybrid. They're almost human. Especially their eyes. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. That's a warning. Still don't know whether I can trust this woman or not. Tia. Alright, there's a terminal here. Yeah, listen to them. They're all like writhing in agony and stuff. 
before I go in here, I just want to see what these say. Strap down hybrid. It's moving, but seems to be unaware of its surroundings. Or it could simply have accepted its fate. Oh, that is brutal. Strap down hybrid. Machinery. Some machinery has been shut off and tucked out of the way. The machine attached to the drip is on and configurable, although it is far from ready to use. Aha! So maybe we need to fix it. Withered hybrid. Bodies, both bodies barely show signs of life. Tiny hybrid. It is tiny, clinging onto life by only the finest thread. It is not a pleasant sight to watch something so small on the fine line between life and death. Oh man. Emaciated, starving organism. This body has wasted away to little more than sinew. Ew. Healthy organism. The creature strains at its bindings. It seems healthy. So judging by the fury in its eyes, it's far from pleased. Yeah, I would imagine so. Conjoined hybrid fused at the spine. Whoa, I wish you could zoom in and have a look at that. It appears immobile, but its heads frequently scan the room. Alright, so let's look at the terminal now and see what's going on here. Subject 82509, Lana. Subject's host, Terra McCormick, First Lieutenant, Marine Liaison. Subject observations. Rambunctious. Subject appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and latent aggression. Lana has the makings of an excellent alpha female candidate. Recommendation. Move Lana to a group cell as isolation appears to promote irritability. Okay. Daryl. Quiet but intelligent. Attempted to pick the lock on his cell yesterday but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle solving skills, and while not especially aggressive, has a strong build. A thinker, clearly. Wow, they've all got different characteristics. Subject shows little of his mother's solid frame, but is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observing the others. Appears to be developing a strong tactical mind. Ooh, and the last one, Nay. One to watch. Cunning, extraordinarily fast, and dangerous appears to prefer isolation as attempted pairings result in fatalities. Takes an alpha role easily, dominates the other Novi. A definite candidate for Lana's mate. Whoa, so they're going to breed Nay and Lana. Okay, so we need to do something here, I guess. But what? What do we have in our inventory? Queen's milk, high temperature slug gun, twisted metal. Can we use that here? I don't think this will fit. Hmm. Maybe we can use it to like kill this dude over here. I don't think that'll work. Oh, there's something here. Bone mending glue. Aha. Bone mending glue. What do we do with that? Bone mending. Conjoined hybrid. This isn't going to work. <laughs> I'm going to try and use it on this guy down here. I think that would break. <laughs> there must be something I'm missing, but what? A withered hybrid, tiny hybrid. Machinery. Here we go. Maybe we can smash the machinery. I don't think that'll work. No. Hmm. It's unclear what we need to do here. Oh, there's a little creature under there. Hybrid. It has fallen from the operating table, only to crawl around in aimless peregrination. No doubt delirious. Ew. Oh, there's a PDA I missed as well. Let's check this out. This Alright, Dr. Charlotte M. Williams, your PDA entry. January 18th. Oh, Francis, I still lie awake at night thinking of you. You haunt my dreams, my nightmares, and my fantasies. We found love, dear, even when we worked in Kane's Sydney lab, creating viral strains that could turn a human inside out. We loved and made love. Ours was a match made in heaven. We worked on only the most exciting viruses and pathogens. Our work together was a Mozart requiem, a piece of perfection. My work now is a pale imitation of what it once was. 
Oh, Francis, how long ago was it now? It must be ten years, but it feels like only yesterday. You were too sick to transfer to the Groom Lake when I did. You died just as I took up my post. But don't fret, my angel. I've begun concocting a way of bringing you back to life. I always called you my little Frankenstein, do you remember? Shredding the boundary between life and death was always your ultimate goal. Well now, with Project Seed entering its second phase, my plans can finally be put into practice. Next, March 20th. The laboratories are off limits between 2am and 4am, so that's when I work. Naturally, I prepare all of the calculations and machine settings in my quarters. I keep the subject under a false name in, in one of the pods. So far, not even Dr. Milan knows what I'm doing. Each major laboratory operation I perform takes more, no more than an hour, and I always erase the machine records at the end of each one. I'm using your DNA, my darling. With the enhanced regenerative abilities of the genetic material we've already synthesized for seed, you will be reborn. But you'll be impervious to physical degeneration, immune to sickness and pain. I'll have done what you would have wanted and made you perfect. And when you step un and when you step healthy, unblemished, and reconstituted from your glass womb, you'll never leave me again. So all of these creatures are an attempt to recreate Francis? Maybe? May 23rd. Things have felt strange lately. My work continues, but I swear, darling Francis, I can feel you watching me. I'm trying to work longer hours to complete the new and reborn you, but it's not easy. Marvin has already had a look at some of my work. I'm sure as if he'd have any concept of what I'm trying to achieve anyway. I still wonder, July 30th. I still wonder, my darling, why you cursed me as you died. You know it was an accident. I know you remember that. It wasn't murder. I've never committed a murder, not even when we tested that pathogen on those troublesome neighbours. It was an experiment. How are we to know they'd choked to death on their own innards? I suppose death was a possibility, but that's science. I fear for your continued life. I'm afraid Milan knows. Who else knows? Have they contaminated you? I will run extra tests to make sure your code is not flawed or altered in any way. I'm anxious. I've started scratching my arms, badly. At this rate, I may end up looking like that leprous toad, Backman. December 29th. Oh, my dearest Francis, I have failed you. Milan knows. He confronted me about it directly. He wants me to take, make you just like them. I cannot have you crawling on all fours like some dog in the street. The very idea offends me. I will protect you with my life. You will be reborn. I swear this on my life. Whoa. So I reckon all these creatures are an attempt for her to recreate Francis, maybe. Oh, there's another place we can go down here. Cool. What do we have in here? Get ready to jump. The veins of the laboratory, sensibly bound to the ceiling. Okay. It's all black. There we go. We're loaded. What the heck is that thing? It's like having an out of body experience or something. What does it say? The creature squirms in its medical restraints. Great black eyes in a sunken grey face glare with malice. Mainframe computer. Alright, well, I think that's time to end the episode there, guys. And I'm going to leave you in suspense. We're going to investigate this on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please click on the link and view my next episode when it's uploaded tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.